I don't know why I do that. I don't know why I like just make fun of the fucking music. I like. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. Oh shit! I forgot to do audio. You was gonna. Oh, there we go. There we go. I think I said it so it automatically changes it rather than me having to do it manually. But that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are going to be doing some pew because I keep forgetting to put the audio on. Alright. <laughs> We're doing part two. We're finishing this one off. Hell yeah. Sorry for starting the stream late, by the way. I slept right in. And then I got delayed again and again and again, and now, at least now I'm here. Now I'm here. It's all good. It's all good. I'm here now. I'm here now. Okay, but welcome back. How's it been, Cammy? It's been really good. It's been really good. I've had kind of a slow day. Slow, tired day. It's it's just one of those days. <laughs> I hope this is the stream that, uh, I hope that this stream will be better instead of only true. Oh my god, fuck yesterday's stream. That tilted me so hard. I literally, like, uh, after that stream yesterday, when that RNG happened, I literally ate noodles so angry. Like, I was so upset. I was like, I can't leave this fucking Sino. This fucking guy beat me in cards, man. Like, you can't do that. You can't do that. That's a crime. <laughs> but yeah, definitely, I feel like this is where I shine the most. I hope. I hope so. Otherwise, fuck. <laughs> ah. 
But yeah, welcome back. So, if you remember last time, uh, last week, last Wednesday, yes, we did some art for Lunacy Thief, and we never finished it. We ran out of time. So hopefully this stream, we get to finish it. I am starting a bit later, that is my bad, but that's okay. That's okay. Thank you. Bet. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the inner ears. Let's get right into it, I reckon. So firstly, I'm gonna grab this white. I'll be honest, I don't remember what I did. <laughs> That's the thing, if I work on artworks this detailed and it takes multiple days, a lot of times I will forget what I I do. And that's normal. It's because I have different art techniques, but it's fine. I'll, I'll wing ding it. It's not like my art will like change its quality. It'll pretty much be this, the same quality. Here we go. Should I have checked what I had done before starting stream? Eh, yeah, probably. Where am I gonna though? Yeah. <laughs> It'll come out still good quality. I have faith in that. And then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna erase this so it's more. There we go. Because I haven't noticed with the other ears, I did sort of like a little technique thing. Nope, that's the wrong brush. Uh, that is not the color I'm grabbing, sir. I'm grabbing this deep dark purple, and you're going to give me this deep dark purple. What? Why is it- Oh, I see. I'm just not pushing the color down out of the brush. Okay. I see. Okay. I'm doing better now. I'm doing better now. There we go. Okay, that's what I was doing wrong. Okay. Got it! <laughs> there we go. And then again this side. Blend that out a bit more. There we go, and then up, same here, up, let's pull this color out, and then I can again go in with the eraser, okay, mm, that doesn't look like exactly how I did it last time, let me restart that, oh I think I remember, okay, <laughs> give me a minute, give me a minute, <laughs> I think I remember the technique I did. It wasn't that shading type, it was this shading type, wasn't it? It was too, yeah. Fuck, I'm, I'm dumb. I'm dumb, I'm sorry. I got it, I got it. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? There we go. That looks more like it. From looking at all the artwork, or like, not at all the artwork, but at all the previous drawings, or previous drawings, god damn it, I did it again. At all the previous, at all the previous fucking line here, I could see I actually went in with a cell shading first before I did effects. And then I'm guessing I did effects on top. Ooh. 
Which that makes that makes more sense. That's why I normally prefer doing all the shading in one sitting. Because otherwise I tend to forget what style I go with. Because sometimes I'll like change up my style a bit depending on like how I'm feeling. And like it'll give like a similar result but like it depends on like the, the drawing really. Because I normally go with like if there's a certain design I'll be like okay it gives it's giving me this vibe so I'll go with this shading style because it will benefit the the drawing more right. But there'll be times where if I like do what I did here today and be like oh yeah okay so I'm gonna work on this on multiple days, uh, there will be times where I do forget, like oh what, what's what shading style did I use you know, which there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Okay, there we go. And then we go uh, multiply, I think. There we go. Was it multiply? Yeah, it is multiply. Okay. Yeah, this looks a bit more familiar. There we go. I'm remembering, chat. I'm remembering. <laughs> Go to eraser, go hard. There we go. Go hard again because I went a bit over. And then we'll get the kneaded eraser. Going just a bit, like here. Just to put some texture into the shading. Hello, welcome, welcome. Hope you enjoy your stay. How are you going, Glitch? Are you going good? Okay, and then we go up, grab this part again, and we're gonna go highlight. So again, we pull it to yellow. I'm gonna work on this side first. You're from Australia? I am, I am. G'day, g'day. Yes. Hell yeah. Where are you from? What part of the world are you from? You're one of the few Australian YouTubers I've found so far. Hey yo, let's go. Yeah, there's not many streamers on YouTube from from what I found that are also Australian. I've noticed it's quite it's quite weird. I'm on the hunt for Aussies. Hey yo, well you've come to the right place. I actually know that there's a few more Aussies I know of as well because I'm a part of a Aussie community as well. Yeah, Mimi is a good one. Mimi is a good one. Um, a few Aussies. So there's... A lot of them are on Twitch. But there are quite a few uh, Aussies. I think um, one on YouTube is Trident VT. Hold on, let me just double check the name just to help you out here. Yeah? Uh, let's see. Trident, 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 Trident. Uh... Oh my god, I can't pull up the info because I'm live. Cry, cry. Let's see. Has he gone live recently? There you go. This is this was his most recent uh, stream. He streamed yesterday. There you go. Uh, he is... I think he is also a YouTube streamer as well. And he... Also another V-Roider as well, which is my model. You don't have a Twitch? That's alright. I found one on YouTube. 
But yeah, they're Australian as well. <laughs> there you go. Have you been raided by an Aussie VTuber before? Yeah, when, back when I streamed a lot on Twitch, uh, I got raided by a lot of Aussies because um, I remember I am like a part of this... Uh, so I'm a part of like this... Uh, I like a VTuber model. Thanks, I made it myself. But yeah, like I... I joined this like a uh, VTuber community group where the whole point of it was that everyone was from Oceania, which is the Australian region or like basically everything around Australia, pretty much. And basically, basically, basically I joined them and like every now and then I'll get raided by like someone from there. So I did regularly get, you know, raids and stuff like that from other Aussies. I also have raided like uh, in the past I raided a lot of Aussies as well. So it's it's kind of like a mutual a mutual rating. Ooh. We just fix that. There we go. Now we put it on screen. There we go. And now let me fix this with the blur tool. Oh, there we go. Just to make the edges a bit more lighter. There we go. Um, I like a VTuber model. Oh yeah, I already read that. My bad. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm on a hunt for Aussies, it's because I'm Australian as well. Nice. Oh, hell yeah. We love Aussies here. We love Aussies here. And it's not because there's a bias because I'm Australian too. <laughs> but yeah, I've got like, um, I think one Australian mod, which is soft. You've seen her in, earlier in the chat. She's Australian as well. And yeah, every now and then I'll have Aussies that join the chat and all that sort of stuff. But primarily a lot of my audience uh, and like a lot of the people that I associate with are uh, international. So it's good to see other Aussies in the chat. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I fulfill uh, your hunt. Hey, yeah, there you go. There's another Aussie. <laughs> We found more! We found more! <laughs> Aussie gang! Aussie gang! Hell yeah! Okay, and now I'm gonna do this. Excuse me. That's gonna give me a little bit of a white. And then we're going to pull that out to a grey for the shading up here. And down here as well. There we go. Now we're going to erase it all back because I don't want it to be like bleeding over like it is. Because that won't be a good look. Oops, I went too far on that. There we go. There we go. And there we go. And then that should be a... Do we do screen? Where's screen? Screen, 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 screen. There we go. And then we can do it like that so it's nice and light but it's not taking over the entire ear. <laughs> you 
You are not a VTuber, however. Oh, good. Oh, thank you for the sub as well. <laughs> Sometimes my alert doesn't tell me when people sub, which is annoying. But thank, thank you. It must be casual. Oh, hell yeah. Just a regular YouTuber? Yeah. I used to be a regular as well. And then I discovered VTubing and my life changed ever since. Oh god. <laughs> That's okay though. Okay, now we're gonna bring this a nice darker grey. There we go. Hello, Nex. Welcome, welcome. There we go. <laughs> I want to try to VTube, but I don't know how, so yeah. Or maybe one of those picture VTubing things. Oh, like a PNG VTuber? Yeah. Well, actually, a little fun fact about me. I am slowly working on tutorials on helping people who want to start off with VTubing. Because obviously, pretty much almost everything you see on screen here, including my model, is made by me. The overlay is by me. This model is by me. The artwork, obviously, is by me. Like, everything is set up with my own like sort of uh, designs and stuff, you know? All the thumbnails that you see on all my videos and streams, they're all done by me. Um, all the advertising is by me. All shorts are edited, uh, videos are edited. It's all by me. So I'm pretty much a very one trick pony, or not one trick pony, a one man band. There you go. I'm pretty much a one man band when it comes to content creation. So basically, one day I actually plan on, one day in the near future, I should, I should specify, <laughs> one day in the near future, I do plan on making tutorials because there's a lot of, uh, I've noticed, okay, I've noticed there's a lot of people in the VTubing scene especially, or the streaming scene, where they like to guard information from what I've seen. And like, that's good and all if, say it's like, a program that you've developed yourself and it's like well no you put work into that you know it's your program what you choose to do with your program it's fine whatever but when it's common knowledge or stuff that should be common knowledge that's helpful I don't know to me it feels wrong to safeguard that and not only that I have been for context I know I've said this before but for context I have been creating content online since 2012 I started off as a comic artist and then in 2016, I started YouTube. And then 2019, I started on Twitch. So I've been on the internet for a long time creating content. So I've seen pretty much all the upsides and all the downsides, you know. And, like, a lot of that would have been made so much easier had I had access to proper resources. A lot of the stuff I now know, I've had to learn the hard way. And seeing how times are changing, how a lot more people are having a lot more, like, opportunities, you know. I feel like in any other aspect of life, there are always guides. You know, if you want to learn how to be a doctor, well, you go to school and you learn. You go to that resource, you go to the library to study for the exams, da 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 you know, that sort of stuff. You know, you want to be a parent. Okay, well, you can go... To clubs where you can get other advice from other parents or, or you can go like uh, to courses and stuff like that you know go to a library get information stuff like that for nearly everything in life there is a resource for getting information when it comes to online content creation however 
I've noticed that a lot of, other than surface level stuff, a lot of it is safeguarded, like heavily safeguarded. And it's like, there's no reason for it. Like, I personally, personally speaking, I would rather help another content creator and see them grow beyond me, right? Because other people would be like, well, no, I, I want to be the biggest creator, you know? I want to be the big bozo who, you know, gets all the, the subs and stuff. You know, I want to be the big content creator. And while that's good and all, while that's good and all, because obviously everyone who posts, they want a little bit of attention. Like, otherwise you wouldn't post at all, right? It's kind of like, it's like a double-sided coin, you know? Everyone wants attention. It's a natural human instinct. But... I would personally rather me being where I'm at now, helping another creator who then blows up. Because that would be such a good feeling, is even if the, your success of your knowledge doesn't reflect on you personally, by seeing someone else succeed, you've technically succeeded as well. Because you've helped someone, right? And because of your help, they're not going to forget that. They are not going to forget that, A, I'm only here because Cam gave me this resource early on and gave me the heads up, or gave me this information, that information, you know? People don't forget that. Like, think about common things you've learned over the years, whether that be courses, basic knowledge, Hobbies, stuff like that, where you've learned certain things, you remember the person who teaches you those things. It's a reason why we remember teachers so vividly. Sometimes you'll remember them more for the memes they do or their characteristics or the individuality. But it's actually a lot deeper than that because as humans, we remember who guides us because we're very much a flock together species. You know, we're very much tribal. That's just in our blood. So by helping others, you get a good feeling and people won't forget that. And eventually, eventually someone's going to go, hey, I'm only here because Cammy helped me. And then boom, that's when the subs come. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically my, uh, that's my mentality. Like, um, I'd rather help people, you know? <laughs> Might mys make myself an official mascot, like a pet of myself. Hey, yo. You need tutorials for, like, everything? Yeah. So, like, literally, like, if I were to read a list of tutorials I've listed down. Because I'm in the middle of scripting so many tutorials. Because I'm going to, like, churn a video out once a week, right? And at least either every fortnight or every month will be a tutorial. That's basically, that's basically the plan. And so where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, uh, okay, there we go. So currently, I've got a tutorial playlist that I want to make. So, you know, what's needed, how to support creators, how to use social media as benefits, you know, understanding red flags in the scene, how to understand green flags in the scene, how to... Find out if someone's doing a dog whistle in the scene, which is when someone says something like, Hey, you make such great content. We should collab. That's a dog whistle. You know, obviously like with context, da 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 da, you know, but like I plan on making content and tutorials of like information that almost no one talks about. Like as well as doing like the basics, like, hey, this program, that program, this is how you start, you know. But I also plan on doing stuff that no one talks about. Like, for example, cold calling. You know, when someone comes up to you and tries to sell you something. Like, hey, do you want to do a sponsorship? We love your content. Want to do a sponsorship? Uh, who are you? Oh, I, I sell blank. Oh, cool. That has nothing to do with my content. <laughs> you know? Like, uh... Oh, like the people on Twitter where they're like, uh, Hi, I'm a GFX artist. I, I, this, uh, here's my commission sheet. And like, you've never met them before. It's like, you know, very much cold calling. 
Cammy, after making someone succeed, I raised that boy. Exactly! I want that feeling. I want that feeling. Because that's such... I don't know about you guys, but that is such a good feeling. I'm not gonna lie. Like, there's been... Okay, I'll, I'll give you context on the stuff I've already worked on, right? And a lot of it is very much... Um, I don't advertise it a lot because, I don't know, I feel weird advertising it. You know, like, um, I've helped, like, VTubers just quietly on the, on the down low. I've helped VTubers where, you know, like, uh, I've helped them with emotes where I actually give them free emotes. Like, I'm going up to them being like, hey, notice you don't have emotes. I'm an artist. Would you mind if I make you some free emotes? You know, I do that quite a lot. Um, I don't advertise it though. I don't post them anywhere. I just be like, here's your emotes. I'm not going to advertise it because I kind of want to, like, I don't want to be like that guy that, like, screams at, hey, I'm the free emote bozo, because then people will flock and be like, oh my god, I want a free emote too, and then that ruins the whole, the whole vibe, you know? But, like, um, you know, I'll approach people and be like, hey, yo, notice you don't have this thing, um, I'm willing to do it for free, no, like, no credits required. Would you like that? Yes or no? And then if they say no, leave. If they say yes, then I, you know, I do it. <laughs> One moment your subs are going to be going up by two in a sec, yeah? <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. I need to grab that color properly. There we go. There we go. Uh, I need to pull this color over. There we go. Because I want to add color into these eyes. But yeah. Like, I don't know. I just... You know, there's been times where I've even offered to make uh, people, like, models and stuff like that. Obviously, like, if people come up and, um... If people, like, um... Come up and ask, and be like, hey, can I have something free? I normally say no, because it's like, that goes against my policy of like, hey, no, like, you've asked, you know, that means someone's told you I do something for free, and that's going to ruin the situation, so no, I can't do that, because otherwise if I allow it for one person, then everyone's going to want free stuff. Whereas my rule of thumb is if I, uh, if I, uh, if I, um, Give me a second, my brain's a little bit slow, sorry. But I always have that a mentality of if I am to like, you know, uh, what's it called? What's the word I'm looking for? My brain's looking for a word. Give it a minute. <laughs> it's working over time. Ah! If I am to like uh, work on something out of the goodness of my heart, you know, I'm going to do it without credit. I'm going to do it without... Um, you know, acknowledgement. But obviously I'll still like, I think the only time I've ever done that where I've been like, hey, can I actually advertise this is when I've ever been like proud of something. Oh, I hate my ex-bestie who had access to my account, Betty changed the password. Oh, gotta go buy it. Oh, good. Also, yeah, make sure your friend don't get access to your passwords. That's a safety risk. Good afternoon. Oh, good. Good afternoon. Hopefully you're doing okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, thank you for joining the stream. I'll see you next time. But yeah, like, I don't know, I just, I just like uh, helping people, I guess. I don't know why, it's a, it's a hard work. Like, obviously, like, if someone in chat sees this and is like, oh my god, I can help people, and that might help me grow on, I don't know, content creator platform. Helping people, okay, when it's part of your motto, right? You have to be already a helpful person to help people. 
right? I'm and, I, and I'm only saying this because I know there's going to be some people out there that will, if they ever see this, because I know there are VOD watchers, right? Yeah, hello. I know, I know you're there. <laughs> I know you're watching the VOD, you son of a bitch. But yeah, like, um, I'm going to leave that on yellow. It sticks out more and it matches with the eye. Or the under eye colour. But yeah, like, I know that there are people who might come across this at a later point in time and be like, Oh my goodness. Maybe if I do that, I can grow too. No, 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 no. Only be a helpful person, uh, content creator-wise, like what I'm doing, right? Only be helpful if you've already got that in you, right? Don't change up your character in the hopes of growing because that will only cause problems for like the creator like the individual if that makes sense like i'm already uh, i'm already I, I, I well at least i hope i'm already a helpful person but like i always uh what you call it i'm always of the mindset of like you know that everyone is basically on their own right Everyone's just trying to survive on a big floating rock, right? That's basically humans. That's basically people, you know? We're all just trying to survive on a big floating rock. Out in the middle of space. And I'm of the mindset of, well, if I do this, it might make someone's time a little easier. Obviously, though, obviously, though, like, if you're not naturally of that mindset... I would not recommend making tutorials and stuff like that, or, like, guiding people. You know, like, obviously, like, uh, to each their own, you know, if you if you truly want to do that uh, content creation-wise, go ahead, you know. I'm not gonna, not gonna stop you. It's, it's your own choice, you know. But, like, you will struggle because there will be people who will ask the same questions over and over again. And then there'll also be people who will... You know, they will see opportunity, you know. They will be like, oh, well, Cami Cami did this thing. So if I go up to Cami Cami expecting the same thing. Oh, shit. If I go up to Cami Cami expecting the same thing, you know. Then I'll get the, I'll get the same treatment. There will be people like that. There will be opportunists. You know, that's okay. People just do what they do to survive. But if you don't think you can handle that, don't don't do don't do what I'm gonna don't do what I do don't do what I do like a hundred percent. Because there's been times where I've given tutorials right or helped people out, and then they turn around and then they use you right, and it's a natural human instinct. You know, it's. You know, we are in a world where it is uh, eat or be eaten. That's very much the human mentality. Oops. Oops, I dropped my pen. So you do sometimes have to, like, predict and be like, oh, yeah, okay, this person, they're about to be a butt face, you know. It's just a matter of if you're of the mindset of being like, well, that's fine. Because helping people makes me feel good. And if they're going to take opportunity, let them. You know? Because that's also going to be free press. Because they'll be like, oh my god, this person did this. And they'll try and monetize off you, you know? There are multiple thoughts of me. Most of those thoughts being an enigma. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, like, when I'm saying all this, I know that when I sometimes speak, my speech is somewhat more jumbly. My thoughts can sometimes be hard to comprehend and understand for certain people. So, obviously, while I'm giving advice on stream, it may come off, like, a bit jumbly, uh, not well put together, like I'm saying random nonsense. But... When I make the tutorials, right? When I make the tutorials, 
Hopefully it sounds a bit more like I make sense. <laughs> Because I am, I am aware that sometimes when I speak, uh, not a lot of people can understand what I'm trying to say. It's, which is very normal. That's very normal. Let's do an outer ring here. There we go. There we go. That way we can get some shine in here. So add some screen. There we go. And then what we could do, add a kneaded eraser. There we go. Add some texture back in. It'll only be subtle, won't be too much texture. There we go. There we go. A bit like that. Let's save. There we go. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it right to a bright red. And I'm just going to line this. Right. And there's a reason why I'm going to be doing this. Okay. It's a reason. You can probably guess what the reason is, but I'm going to be lining this. Right. There we go. So it may look a little bit wacky and wonky, but that's fine. Then I'm going to Add this in the upper layer of the eye, just only in the upper half, very lightly. Oh, that's a bit much. And then I'm also going to do this right here, like this. Again, very lightly, not too much. You know, I don't want it to overrule. Then we get rid of any over parts that have gone too far over the edge of the line. There we go. And then we're going to go multiply. Uh, no. Wait, 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 wait. That's not right. Uh, let me change the color to blue. There we go. And now we're going to do multiply. There we go. And now what we're also going to do here is we're going to first take that off. So that way it's not on a masking layer, right? Create a layer above it, make it a mask. Right. We're going to get purple. Make a brush. Like that. Leave the blue at the top, make it purple at the bottom, and bring that color out at the bottom. So it kind of turns into like a three a three section sort of design. And then we bring that to a bright red at the bottom. Only a little bit. There we go. I'm going to take that off multiply so then it becomes neon like that merge it down mask it now I'm going to get the kneaded eraser to erase some of this that way it's a bit more softer 
Also add some texture back. And now I'm going to get the hard eraser. I'm going to go smaller brush and right in the inner eye, I'm going to do this. Oh, I think I did that a bit much. Right where the highlight of the eye is going to be. So where the light source is coming from, basically. And again up here. Oh goodness, it's hard to get it like to look nice, but give it time, it'll come out right. I'm just gotta have trust in it. There we go. And then we get a pen. Maybe like this brush here, make it small. Do three dots right here. Same on the other side. Not really going to be able to see them but as well, but that's fine. Point of it is to bring the texture out with the other colors. I do have a Twitch account, but I haven't touched that account in such a long time. Honestly, fair. I find Twitch accounts, I don't know, they're like, um... They're sometimes a little bit weird, not gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna go multiply. So that's kind of what it's gonna look like in multiplied. So it's very colourful, you know, a lot of colour in there, but we're starting to lose, as you can see, we're starting to lose the colour of the original eye a bit. It's going like, it's leaning more purple, right? Rather than the original colour. That's fine. We go in here with the soft brush and just do two swipes. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Maybe one more for that one. There you go. Until the bottom ring is almost completely gone. It'll still be there, but it's just very light now. And just like that, we've gotten the original color of the eyes back. While having shading in the top, with that adds color. Twitch uses a more troll material. Yeah, honestly, that is very true. I've noticed when it comes to YouTube chat... It's much more chill compared to Twitch chat. Twitch chat is full of, it's full of fucking trolls. But I've noticed when it comes to YouTube chat, YouTube chat's more chill. YouTube shorts, on the other hand, holy fuck, that is toxic as shit. But from what I've seen, YouTube chat's kind of chill. <laughs> what I'm also going to do... I'm also going to darken the inner eye. So I'm going to go uh, uh, a grayish navy. On a new layer. And I'm going to darken it. Just a little. Don't need much. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to get a hard eraser. And then I'm going to just do the same thing, except this time at the bottom. Like that. Right? So then we get a nice transition of colour. And then, again, multiply. There we go. So now the pupils are a bit more darker. They're brighter in colour, but they're darker as well, which is what we want. 
puts on hazmat suit. I'm going to check YouTube shorts. Yeah, YouTube shorts are very toxic. From what I've noticed compared to TikTok, it is so different. TikTok are like chill people, weirdly enough. But then you go to, you go to YouTube shorts and the whole, whole, holy fuck. No chill, no chill. I'm just gonna put a little bit up here because this is where the light is. Also, have you guys seen the new updates for Clip Studio Paint? The, that's the program I'm using, by the way. There's a new update for Clip Studio Paint out. And a lot of it is stuff I probably won't ever use, but there's one that's like really good looking, and it's the auto shader. Which I think is really nice. Can I get needed the razor? Just get rid of the top. There you go. Make it a bit more subtle. There we go. <laughs> and I think that's the eyes. We'll do the highlights, um, like you know, like the little white dots in the eyes, like you can see with my eyes. We'll do those a bit when we get to after coloring the line art because it will be important to do that after we color the line art. Because the line art only has like a hazing phase to it. Like you can see like the line art kind of changes color every now and then. I've only done that so it's got like a little haze to it. Whereas I'm actually also going to go on top of that as well and like edit it a bit more. Give it more color and pop and stuff. So we're not exactly done with that. We're not exactly done with that. <laughs> Okay, next I think we're gonna go on with the shirt. Now as you can see, some highlighting has gone over onto the shirt. That's fine. I'm gonna keep it because that's like the hairs glowing onto the shirt. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that. Grab this color and pull it right back. I reckon I'm gonna pull it back to a red. Like that. And I'm going to do this. Now the reason why I've made it a bright red like this is so I can see, right? No point shading with a dark color if I cannot see what I'm shading. You know, like... Because otherwise I could be shading with a dark color and I won't see a fucking thing, you know? And while it will make the drawing look good, I will struggle to complete it, you know? Now let's get rid of this. There we go. And then multiply. And we just pull it back a bit. Like so. Now because the shirt is already dark, you kind of don't need to shade it with the highlight. Because technically the hair already does that. And it's more like a, you know, uh, with darker clothes they don't really take in as much light. So unless you put light onto it, it's fine to like undershade it because you know naturally darker things they absorb more light compared to lighter things so i tend to reflect that a bit more in my drawings obviously looking a bit like a hypocrite with that saying that and then seeing the hair all bright and sparkly but you know <laughs> tomato tomato <laughs> also what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab this green here and I'm going to do a soft, like that, like that, and then again over here with this orange, I'm going to do a soft, like 
I'm just gonna make it really subtle. You won't be able to see it at first, but when I do this, you'll see it mainly changes the color of the like of the the actual eyes itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a hard brush. I'm gonna erase it on the inner because I want it to shine the original color out. I don't want it to impact the original color. And this will give the eye a bit more of a, a glowing effect. Oh, I fucked that up. There we go. Then we bring it down. And you won't be able to tell because her complexion is a bit more brighter. But when I do this, you'll see it more on the cat. Which that's good because then it brings out the color onto the drawing a bit more, brings out more color. You know, more of the stuff we want to see. And now we've got the moon crescents. The moon, the moon! So we do that, bring that over to a nice, I reckon it will go pink. <laughs> There you go. There we go. This is gonna look a little bit silly until I can get it looking nice. Again, it's a trust the process uh, opportunity. Kinda of have to have faith in these things, unfortunately. So I'm going to erase this so I can get the proper shading in. There we go. Again on this one. And then, so you can see what I'm trying to do is I'm then trying to erase, uh, I'll show you better on the bigger one, but I'm trying to erase the shading, uh, kind of like that, so it leaves like a line behind. The reason why I'm doing that is because when you shade, I guess, more metallic objects, you want to sh remove some of the shading from the underlayer because light reflects. So that's basically what I'm doing here. I make, I'm emphasizing that the light is reflecting. Because there's a light source coming from over here. So there's still shading going on here. But it's more reflecting than it is deflecting. Compared to like mattes. There we go. And then we're going to go over here to the same thing. And then we're going to go for this brush, which will bring in a, if we bring a smaller, like a transitional color. There we go. Get rid of this. There we go. Shit. There we go. <laughs> and again over here.
Uh, that one needs a bit more shading. There we go. Because I kind of want it to fade away a little bit on that other side where the, the light isn't primarily at. There we go. And now we're going to do multiply. There we go. And now we're going to go in again with the kneaded eraser. Just one swipe like that. And then again on the other third. Just like that. And then up. We're going to bring this down. Only a little, not much. And because we're working with a solid yellow, the only way we get highlights is if we go towards green, which is actually a cool color. So that won't really highlight. So we're going towards the, the lime color, but still keeping it light. Like that. And that's going to be kind of our cell shaded highlight there. So let me replicate that on the other side. Here we go. And now let me just get rid of the, the spillover. There we go. And now we're going to do a screen. There we go. Now you can see when we do screen, nothing happens pretty much. Actually, would it look better with overlay? Okay, it looks better with overlay. Now you can see nothing happens kind of... Oh, does screen actually look better? Screen looks a bit better. Okay, we'll go with screen. But as you can see, when we do that, we still lo we're still losing a bit of the previous color. So what we do, we go on the razor. Just go on with the soft. Don't go on with the kneaded. We don't need the texture. Like that. Only a little bit, not much. Because we still want to keep in the fact that it's been highlighted. And then as we're erasing that, we're going to come back in with the airbrush. And bring that color back. Only a little, not much. And then we're going to erase it again. Just erase the spillover. And there we go. Now what I'm also going to do as well, when we go to doing effects and stuff, I'm also going to add like some sparkles and stuff to it. Just to bring it out a bit more. But yeah, there we go. There we go, there we go. We got it, we got it, we got it. <laughs> so now, next step is we're going to color the line art. So we pretty much got everything done here. That is coloring wise. Mm, let me stretch. Mm, there we go. But now we're going to go on with the coloring of the liner. So again, above mask, right? I'm going to go in here like so, do a nice deep color. And I'm going in with an, a soft airbrush. Okay. Reason for doing a soft airbrush is because we get a bit more of a better transition that way.
There we go. We go in here. I'm going to bring that more to the pink. <laughs> I'm back from YouTube shorts comments. Still safe from the hazmat suit. Ayo, nice. <laughs> That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Okay, and now I'm going to go in like this. I'm going in bright first. Right? There's a reason for that. I'll show you in a second. Again with the other side as well. It's gonna look a little bit spooky, but that's fine. And then we're gonna come back in with this purple. Right. And then again with this blue. And now we're going to go dark green. And we're going to keep that blue like a middle band. Almost. There you go. And then for the orange as well, we're going to do the same thing. Deep orange. Again, like a middle band. And then we're going to go bright orange for the bottom. Oop, that's a bit much. And then a bright green for the bottom of this one. So you can see how it kind of transitions. It goes from like a light green to a normal green to then a blue and then back into the green hue, which gives the eye... Like, if we're to zoom out, right, it gives the eye a lot more color as well. So that that's another way of bringing color out, is you have it smooth while it's changing hues, right? It's while it's going, not hues, but while it's changing contrast, you bring it into a separate hue, which is why, you know, the, the green goes from, like, this light green, deep green, to a blue, and then back to green, which brings color back out into the eye. It gives it some character. You know, it gives it some color and pop to it. At least that's how I do it anyway. And then we're going to do this and we're going to bring it down hard on the pupil there. Same thing here. I'm going to bring this brush down there. And then same with the orange. So it might pull it up a bit. There we go. And then pull it down again for the upper layer. Only a little bit, not much. And same for the green, I'm going to pull it down. Maybe more into the grey, because that's a bit bright. There we go. And there. So now we got the eyes, eyes all coloured. Nicely coloured. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now we're going to go with colouring the eyelids. So firstly, I'm going to grab this colour somewhere in here. There we go. And what should look like when I pop it down is like this. So it'll look more of like a brown... Bit like this. Basically what I'm doing is I'm reinforcing where the eye is. So I'm being like, hey, this is the eye, right? I'm bringing the color back from what we did to the, uh, the iris. A 
pretty much like this. There we go. And then we're going to go in with a deep blue. And we're just going to quickly brush over it. Just very quickly. Right? Because we don't want it to take over completely from that brown. But I want it to be a very quick, subtle thing. There we go. A bit like that. I never did it to the other though. Let me fix that. <laughs> So bring it brown to kind of emphasize like, hey, this is the eye. Like this is the eyelid, this is the eyelash, you know, kind of bringing it back to be like, hey, give that back. You know, you're not the iris. And then we go back over to the blue and do a quick brush over. Not taking power from the brown but we're using the brown to add on to it. There we go. Oh, that one needs it to be a bit darker. I kind of forgot, he's like a, or oh, this cat's like a very dark color. I need to pull it in a bit. There we go. Then we go over here. And in the inner corners, we go in with a darker color. This will give it like a transitional thing. So it's not one solid color. It like transitions through different hues. Nice dark blue. Same with this corner down here. Go over even on the eyelashes as well. Just on their tips. There you go. Then we grab this color here and we go up slightly into the yellow. Just slightly. And do a quick brush. Just a quick one. We don't hang around, we just in and out. And there we go. That's kind of how that works. Mm hmm. And then you can do other things like, uh, you know, like, uh, what's it called? We'll get the, the blur tool, you know, to fix the eyelashes because some of these is like not blended properly, you know. So that way it transitions better. This one's not transitioned properly, so I'll fix that in. I'll go in a bit, touch it up a bit more. This one's transitioned funny as well, so I'll fix that. Fix that one as well. That one's not pulled out enough. Same as this side here. You know, that, like that. So this side, let me check. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's pretty much just a, a game of like tug of war, pretty much. And then we can go in later on at the end when we're doing our like visual effects and we can add highlights to those as well. So it's a bit like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now we're gonna go in with our hair. Now this one's probably going to be the obvious choice. We do have to go pretty dark with the hair. What I am going to do though is I'm going to go up, place that. So that way, because we've done so much with the eyes, I don't want to lose what we've done with the eyes. So if I go, like, if I fuck up and I need to erase it, I don't want to erase all the stuff I've done with the eyes as well. So we're going to go in with the airbrush. Get a big one. quick brush 
I'm going to stay away from the face for now. But I'm basically being quickly. You know, because I did add like little glow effects here and there onto the liner beforehand. And I kind of want to keep some of it. I don't want to lose it all. There we go. And as you can see, we're getting some of our darker colors back. So it's becoming more easy to tell now, like, what's what, where's what, you know. Did the same over here. And now I'm going to bring this pink out. And then I'm also going to bring this skin color out here. Not much, just a little. This time I'm going over manually though. Just a little bit. And then what I'm also going to do here is on this layer here, again, I'm going to screen it. I'm going nice and big. And trust me with this. We're going to make this car the color somewhat bleed over. How you going? And then also here. Oh, let me just pick that properly. There we go. How you going, Tarnish? Again here, we're going in with these uh, dark colors. There we go. Like that. And then we're going to pull it back. Like so. And then we're going to go in with the eraser tool and we're going to go on uh, needed, no soft, sorry. And we're going to pull it back a bit. Get back, go back. Like that. And just like that, we've now got the skin highlighting on the hair. I'll show you the difference. Boom. So you can see, we'll lose some color. And then boom, the color spreads and it becomes a much more softer design. Again, this is the comparison. So you can see better what we did. And now we're going to do one final top layer and that is with the crown. Not the crown, oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, the crown. <laughs> but we're gonna be doing it with the moon crescent. Okay, 
And we're going to be working in thirds. So we've got the middle color. Now we're going to the end color. We're going to go darker. All right. Like that. And then the other side, we're going to go back over here because we can get better color selects over here. Go to the yellow. Go to this third here. Like so. And then over here. Doesn't matter if we're too bright on the drawing. Because we're then going to bring this down. Only just a bit. Like so. And then we go over with our kneaded eraser. And we erase. So it becomes a bit more subtle. Only on the lighter side, don't need, really need to do it on the darker side. Like so. And there you go. <laughs> and so now we're ready for the highlights. So now we go in with our pure white. This is why I don't like uh, shading with white or, or like doing pure whites. It's because then we can't go over doing this sort of stuff. And I'll show you in a minute. Oh, that's my dog. <laughs> don't mind her. But then we can't do this. So we got two lines here. See? You can see it on both the sclera and the iris. Please ignore my dog. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try my best to copy the highlights. We're also doing my own spin on it as well. Like that. There we go. And then what was the highlight on for the cat? The cat didn't really have anything, so we'll just do the same thing over here, but a little less detail. So two lines. Oh my god, my dog's gone crazy. Like that. And again over here. A bit more smaller. There we go. And then again down here. Oh, maybe a bit up more with this one. If she keeps barking, I'll have to go on a quick BRB to stop her. Can't have the dog all barking too long. It's like 9 p.m. Oh. Bark. Yeah. Can you hear her? She loud as fuck. There we go. And then we do that there. Like so. Down here, we're going to go extending further than what I want to because I'm going to erase it back. There we go. Same with up here. I want it to extend further because I'm going to erase it back. Oops, I did that way too thick. There we go. So now we got the eyes. Now to bring that color back, we're gonna go and erase it. We're gonna go in soft. We're not gonna go in with a kneaded because the highlights, they don't really need a texture, to be honest. 
with that, and we're gonna erase this back. So give, to give it like a transitioning look. Doesn't need much, just a little. And so it'll look a bit like that. <laughs> now what we do, we copy and paste. And then the upper layer, we're going to go filter. Bella, Gershon Bella. I don't know why I pronounced it like that, but I did. Please ignore me. We're going to bring it low. Like that. So then it looks like that. Okay. We can then do a bit more, like, if we want to add more, like, highlights, we can, like, you know, like, I don't know, here or something. <laughs> Look. But then what we can do here is then we can go in and do overlay. If we want. Or I reckon screen. Oh, actually, uh, I reckon I might copy and paste. There we go. Create new layer. Do the bottom one being overlay. Then that one, and then we can bring that slightly down a bit. There we go. That way it's still sparkly, but we're not full on taking over the entire color of the eye. <laughs> there we go. So it should look a bit like that. <laughs> and then what we can do is now that we have these highlights going on, right? So we can then do the background. Now this is where we do the fun going through all the fucking layers. There we go. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this paper layer. Oh, I never colored the mouth! Wah! That's fine. We can just do this, watch. Bada bing, bada boom, you are now colored, so. Kinda cheating, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, boom. <laughs> uh, let's see. What color do we make the background? <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, can we make it? A bit Sailor Moony, so let me Google Sailor Moon background. Uh, Sailor Moon uh, transformation. Okay. So I'm gonna grab all these references. I'm gonna copy image, and then I'm gonna go over here because I want it to be over here. Create new from clipboard. So now I have all these, right? So noticing here, it starts off with a navy blue. So I'm gonna do like, I don't know, fill, uh, I'm gonna refer to editing layer, right? Now that, that's fine, right? That's fine. <laughs> but it could be better with some other colors, <laughs> obviously. So now we're gonna go with this upper layer here. And I do notice there's some green painted in. Don't worry, I'll make this pastel. I'm just gonna work with the hard color colors that the Sailor Moon reference gives me. Cause then I can work with it a bit better. So let's see. Let's get this paintbrush in here. I reckon a smooth watercolor. Ooh, okay. I 
it like this. And then we can go in with what looks to be this bright pink here. <laughs> yeah. There we go. A bit like that. That looks very like Sailor Moon transition-y, right? <laughs> I hope. <laughs> and then we're gonna go in on top of that with a soft brush. Uh, no, soft brush, hello, thank you. And we can go in like this. Go on with a big brush. Like that, over these top parts. And then again over here, I'm gonna grab this green, go in with an actual like, there we go. A bit like this. And then we can go in a bit more with like the stars, kinda. Oops. Uh, where's the... So I'm gonna just go over very quickly, right? There's a reason for this. It's because I don't want there to be entirely stars everywhere. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the soft brush. Or the soft eraser. And I'm going to erase it. Only very subtly. Alright. So that kind of transitions from stars to nothing to stars again. Like that. I'm gonna bring it down so it's a bit more subtle. There we go. That's very that's very Sailor Moon. I believe that parents easily misunderstand VTubers. Yeah. If you explain it to them like uh, in languages that they would understand, like for example, if you know of the band Gorillas, just say it's the live streaming or YouTube version of Gorillas. That's pretty much how I've explained it to older people is because gorillas, for example, if you know the band gorillas, um, gorillas is like, uh, you know, they're not like the, the band aren't actually the gorillas characters, you know, 2D doesn't exist. Uh, noodle doesn't exist. You know, they're fake characters, right? But you know, the gorilla songs, they have these characters, but it's not the actual band members, right? And that's it's that's how I explain it to older people what VTubing is. It's similar to Gorillaz. It's just a more independent or indie version of Gorillaz. That isn't music orientated either. It's like all forms of content. That's kind of that's kind of how I that's kind of how I word it. <laughs> Obviously, you know, like how other people word it is like, you know, that's on them, but like how I word it is pretty much it's just gorillas. So what you can see here, I've copied and pasted. Oh, you can't even see what layers I'm doing. I'm so sorry. I'm giving like instructions that you guys can't even see. But I basically copied and pasted the, uh, what the fuck happened? Alrighty. Uh, <laughs> I'm having audio issues now. Oh my goodness. Um, but basically, I copy and pasted the same layer, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm going to bring it out a bit. Just a bit. Like, maybe like this. I reckon like that. There you go. And we're going to copy and paste, again, that same blurred layer. Get, we're going to hide one, because one is going to be the overlay layer. So that brings out uh, darkness, and the other one brings out the shadow. And what we're going to do is we're going to erase some of this. So we only want certain parts to be highlighted. So we're going to bring this back. Like that. And then once we've done that, we can then pull the color back on both. There we go. And now another thing I noticed too is that in a lot of Sailor Moon transitions they have like the circle thing, like a circle thingy. 
and then it like it's like meant to be like oh yeah sparkly bubbles sort of thing I kind of want to bring that out now do I have a brush for that yes or no soft circles yes I do okay so we're gonna bring it out with this deeper purple So they kind of look like that. Oh, they're not really the same though. Oh. And that's antagonal. Oh fuck. I'm gonna have to manually do this, aren't I? Hmm. Yep, I'm gonna have to do this manually, aren't I? There! That's alright. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna fill. Only if I had an edi editing layer, boom. Just like that. Boom. Well, that didn't do what I wanted it to do, so I'm gonna have to do that manually. Basically, we're gonna get rid of this uh, inner line here. So I want it to be a solid color. Like that. We get the uh, soft erasure brush. We're gonna do this. Like that. And there we go. So now what we can do is we can pretty much just copy and paste that to wherever we need it to be. So I'm going to put this one up here. I'm going to then copy and paste that. And I reckon I'm going to make a smaller one. Just maybe here. I'm gonna turn it like that. And then I'm gonna copy and paste again and create a bigger one over here. And then I'm gonna merge these three. There you go. So there's three of them now. And the reason why I'm doing that, so I can cheat and make it bigger <laughs> I could cheat and copy basically Like this. Okay, and then we can merge all these layers together. And then we're gonna basically put it on screen. And there you go. And bring it down. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> and then what we're also going to do here is see how the colors while they're good and all they're not matching the background like the lighting is very much different now either I could change the background or I change the characters and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the characters right and don't worry I can do this pretty easily without you know affecting too much so I do here so I put this on mask and I'm going to go for this pink here and this is going to look very scary what I'm about to do but trust the process. Go over completely with this pink. Right. And then again with this blue where all the, the shading was. Just very quick brush over. Like so. Like 
like that. And then what we can do, okay, that looks all right. And then what we do is we do overlay. Now, as you can see, it's all bright and pink. Like it's really nice and it's matching really well and everything. See, if we get rid of that, you can see the difference, right? Now I don't want it to entirely take over because obviously we've got to stick to the, the main thing. So bring it down to 50. There we go. And then what we can do as well on top of that is get the, what's it called? The eraser, put it on soft, make the brush a bit bigger, bring back some of these features, right? Because we don't want to lose everything to the lighting. Like obviously like lighting is lighting. It doesn't affect the main color of everything. So we're going to bring back some of this color from the lighting change. Because we only want the lighting to help ease the picture or the, the main characters into the scene. We don't want it to overrule the characters into the scene. Because obviously the characters, they have their own colors. And we want to show that. There we go. And just like that, the characters now better match into the scene. As you can see here. There you go. Now what we can also do as well to add further effects is we can add some brush effects, some brush highlights, if you will. So let me go to this here. We're going to go white and up on this thing here, we've got the crown. I keep saying crown. That's not correct though. I think this needs to be smaller maybe okay that works like that copy and paste so we've got one highlight there Actually, let's get rid of that. And because I've done a copy and pasting effect, oh, wait, no, copy, paste. I can then now do filter, uh, blur, Gaussian blur. So it does a bit of like of that effect. There we go. And basically then we can do overlay. So it has a bit more of like a shine to it rather than like a a weird effect to it. And then we can add the other glittery effects. Because I want this to be nice and sparkly. I think the the owner of this OC would like it to be sparkly. Because it's very Sailor Moon-esque. I want it to be very Sailor Moon-esque. And it's going to be Sailor Moon. <laughs> it will be Sailor Moon. I swear to God. There we go. So we're just adding a bit of sparkle to the eyes with this tool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, 
that's too much. <laughs> so I'm trying to get a certain sparkle from this brush. Cause this brush has like multiple different types of sparkles. So for the cat, I want the little sparkles. Come on, give me the little sparkles, you bastard. There we go. Okay, I don't want to add too much sparkle. Because again, if you go overboard with the sparkle, it won't look as good. Come on. Give me the little dots. Give me the little dots. Give me the little dots. I will find you. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm also gonna erase this uh, circle because I kind of don't want the circle here. There we go. So then we're going to do again, filter blur, Gaussian blur. Bring it down a bit. And then we're going to go this, go overlay. Like that. Just like so. Bring it down. There we go. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> One of these people who t take a shower, so be a be. All good. Take your time. Imagine showering. Oh my goodness. My oh my. I can't believe I have an audience that showers. What the fuck? How dare. How dare. <laughs> now we're going to go in with a bit more of effects on the corner. Uh, overlay. Like that. There we go. And then, what other effects does this have? It's pretty much just that, eh? <laughs> yeah, looks like that's about it. I think we're actually done. You know, I think we've done it.
We've got the eye shine. We got the shine on the moon thingy on the forehead that, that I keep calling a crown when it's not a crown. We've got all the colors. We've got it blended into the background so it fits with the lighting. Yeah. You know, gang, I think we've made it. I think we've done it. I think we've done it, gang. <laughs> Hell yeah. So thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for joining stream. I'm going to end it here because we've finished it all within two hours that's good that's good time i've done that really quick but yeah thank you so much i'll be posting the credit on my twitter as well as posting this on my coffee and in my discord so thank you thank you so much for joining and i hope you enjoyed it lunacy thief and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>